Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Kochi, which is the biggest city in the state of Kerala, India. And tonight we're gonna go on a street food tour. It's gonna be street food, but also some amazing drinks, like some sodas and this chili beverage. This is an amazing city. I love the people, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you all the street food that we eat tonight. Welcome to Kochi, and immediately Edbin is taking us somewhere to eat some snacks. So this is a snack shop on the corner. It's like everything fried and crunchy that you could possibly want. It smells so good. Fried, maybe from, made from a sometimes dal, sometimes rice. It smells delicious. In some cases, there is also onion butter. For onion butter, they will also add onions. This is uh, potato bonda. Okay. Potatoes are inside, uh, filled inside, stuffed inside. This is bonda, sweet bonda. This is onion butter. This is samosa. samosa. This one is kolkata. Oh, this yeah, is sweet. Add... We call it as sugin. Okay. It is having sweet green grams inside. Like green grams. Right, so we got the snack plates. You can choose what you want from the cabinet. We got some, we got the vada, we got the, I had to get a samosa and then they dish you some chutney. <laughs> It's like Kerala, deep fried into a little pocket. <laughs> oh. mm. And that chutney, and follow that with some tea. Milk tea. Wow, that samosa is awesome. Okay, next up for the vada. I love that texture. So fluffy, spongy. A mix of rice and lentil flour. And it just kind of like puffs up. It's puffy is what it is. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, this one is the, the potato cutlet kind of. Potato bonda. Yeah. Alu bonda. Oh, it's so good, too. It's like mashed potato, mashed potato with masala and all the spices in it. Covered in like a, a slightly dough wrapper and fried again. It's like a potato pocket, a potato ball. <laughs> this one is the onion butter. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> the sponginess of that solid crunchiness. Okay, and we just got the egg bonda. This is what he's just making behind me. Yeah. The half a hard boiled egg in a batter. Oh, that's hot right out the oil too. Oh, oh it's so hot. Seriously tasty snacks. I think the samosa was the highlight for me. That like juicy, spicious chicken. We're walking somewhere next to some kind of a soda center where they make their own fresh sodas, Kochi sodas. Ginger. 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 Ginger soda. Ginger soda. Okay. Yeah, this is like an 
ancient industrial shop where you're making homemade sodas. Marble in the bottle. Actually, what called me. These are the bottles. There's a marble here, and the gas pressure comes. The marble will come and seal this bottle. Ah. There is a washer here. So that's washer. like the that's like the buffer zone. Yeah. I've never seen soda like that before. <laughs> that's like an ancient technique. <laughs> Prehistoric. Wow. Oh, keep going. Now he's getting ready to just do water, straight water. So that would be just like carbonated water, club soda, soda water. That's one of my favorite sodas. And then that's just amazing that you know the, the design is it has the bottles have the little marble in the top. So then when it fills up with the gas, it I'm not totally sure. It, then it then it rises, it rises, it expands the carbonation, and then that marble rises to the to the top of the bottle, filling it and sealing it. Just a. Uh, the original ancient technique for making soda. Now moving to the front of the shop is where they serve the soda. The whole process starts over here with the cup. He squeezes in a half a lime to your cup. Then he adds in the syrup, which is a combination of the sugar, sugar syrup with that um, kind of like herb flavoring into your cup. Then goes in the soda. Then uh, he just like whips that up, stirs that up. But just that pop of opening that carbonated soda, that that is the highlight. <laughs> Possibly the world's coolest soda bar. Whoa! <laughs> that is amazing. How he just explodes that bottle. He sticks his finger in it to push down that marble, and immediately that carbonation just bursts. It actually explodes. And then you just see those bubbles rising. We've got two different versions. One is the ginger soda, one is the without so ginger. So that's just the soda, club yeah, soda. Yeah. Yeah. Try, try ginger first. Wow, that's that is incredible. The ginger, <laughs> the sweetness, the ginger, the all oh, the freshness of it, literally carbonated like seconds ago, and into your cup, and the lime juice. That is like ultra refreshing ginger cooling digestion. Wow, that's great. There's so much ginger in there, it does, your throat burns. And next one I got is the ginger salt. Ginger salt, so not sweet. Oh, okay, I found my favorite. My favorite soda, the saltiness, the ginger. Oh man, that's absolutely sensational. The sound, the satisfaction of that pop, of that explosion just never gets old. Salt is awesome. The salt is amazing. This is genius. Just so ah. cool. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> Okay, Kerala just fills it with the recipes, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Just that pop of opening that carbonated soda, that that is the highlight. And that flavor, that salted ginger soda, wow, that was sensational. Pakistan. Thank you. Ah, nice to meet you. 
Okay, so next up on this food tour of Kochi, street food tour, we've come to a place they, they're famous, they're known for their dosha. <laughs> We're here early, so it's not that packed, but if you come here a little later, a few hours later, it's gonna be packed. And already a group is starting to form outside in the front. Um, this is such a cool little like corner shop, community hangout. People are just hanging out. They're so cool, they're friendly. They're making a couple different types of dosha. All different types of doshas that they make. That is amazing how they just spray that egg, how they just, you just like flows that egg over the dosha and the sprinkling on the ghee as it goes and just like controlling it. I mean, we're like open, open face right here and yet like he splashes around the hot ghee and that keeps it so contained. Oh man. And the one that we're gonna get is with the quail eggs. Quail eggs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the 13 quail egg dosha. <laughs> wow. And the amount of chili powder. <laughs> There's just like yolks floating around, like a galaxy of quail yolks. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna just, I'm just going right into the center here to maximize the yolkage. Oh, yolk is just gonna squeeze out of it, quail yolk. <laughs> it's so hot. Oh yeah, it's so hot. And so much chili in there. Maybe I'm not even gonna dip my first bite. Wow. <laughs> it's like so yolky, it's almost cheesy. The crunchiness of the dosha, mm -hmm. the smokiness of the chili. Wow. And the curry leaves in there, I'm gonna dip it into the, I think I'll dip it into this one next. Wow. It's like a chili, slightly sourish chutney, I think. I love how like the, the crunchier bits and the gooier oh bits, gosh, yes. it's just from the yeah, center, because yeah. the center is more gooey because all those yolks gather yeah. in the center. Whereas, and also even the way that, I mean, the, the dough is spread, the batter is spread. I'm going coconut chutney this bite. <laughs> mm, wow. Known as like a sweet coconut chutney with curry leaves. 
with mustard seed. Mm. You can just kind of almost like roll it up and just grab a grab a handful of it. Double dipping. <laughs> the mix of chilies, the black pepper, the onions, the creamy yolk, quail yolks, 13 of them. <laughs> this is like one of the greatest doses ever. Thirteen quail eggs down. That was stunning. And the chili, yeah, you can feel that burning down your throat. That is so good. Such a combination. The different chutneys and sambars that go with it. This is a must in Kochi. That was unbelievable dosha. Trying for the little one biter. Yeah. Bullseye. <laughs> Bullseye. It goes well. Yes. We need to have all of them together. <laughs> the yolk, the pepper, the salt. Ah. <laughs> then only we get the complete taste of a bullseye egg. <laughs> the bullseye egg. <laughs> <laughs> that is and good. awesome to meet up with you as well. Yeah. I asked him if it's a Kerala, if it's a Kerala move or if it's your special move. Is that it's your special move? Yes, that is a special. The one biter bullseye egg, a specialty. Signature bite by Ebin. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Having a quick cup of chai after that doja. Oh. Yes, cheers. And this is something that never gets old, too. You just like. Cup after cup, you can just have infinite cups in a day. And I love the, the pour. He's another chai master pouring it from that, that meter high, maybe two meters high to get that foam, to get that mix. Maybe a few like splashes due to the, due to the splashing, but without spilling a drip. Great tea. Thank you. This Kochi street food tour has been amazing and we've got one more place. It's a drink, a type, another type of drink that we're gonna go, that's gonna wrap it up, that's gonna finish this entire food tour. So we're just down the road, we're at this next market. There's tons of fruit. You smell so much fruit, it's so aromatic. And we're on our way to this stall that is, again, famous for their drinks, but I think they put on an entire show. <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> he might be the greatest bartender in the world. They have something spicy? Yes, but I don't know. Mango chili, pineapple, chili, orange chili, grape chili, pineapple chili, madhavan chili, pomegranate. Ah, mango chili? Mango chili, yeah. Mango chili? Mango chili. Mango chili. Mango chili. This might be the greatest mixed chili drink ever. Oh, there's basil seeds in it. There's the he stuck an entire green chili in here, and then this is the mango mango juice. That is some insane skills. And this one is not even the one where he sprays the milk from like from like six meters away. But we're gonna see that one next. But first, this one. Hello. 
Yes. Oh wow. That is a masterful drink. <laughs> oh, the ice like perfectly cold and refreshing and frothy. Oh that's like a like that's just a straight up handshake and smoothie. Wow, that's good. Dude, look at that composition. Look at that frothiness. And the amount, the amount of chilies in there too. Oh my. Just like three times in a row. That's the tastiest drink I've ever had. Next. That's the tastiest drink I've ever had. Like, yeah, that one is so good. The flavor composition is beyond belief. <laughs> Okay, before trying a milky beverage, we're then trying the pomegranate. Foam that just explodes out of that lid as he pulls it up. That bar, those bartending skills are just unbelievable. You do not just get foaminess like that from, from a simple toss. That has to like nearly hit the roof three times, <laughs> spin like 50 times, and knock the table, like almost break the table. And that's how you get that kind of frothy foam on top. Skills, man, skills. Oh wow, yes. The pomegranate, and then the, it's not really spicy, but you taste the fragrance of that green chili that's just like shaken up on it. It's even like slightly carbonated from being shaken so hard. Mm. At first, okay, at first you might think they're just doing it for show. That is hand-pressed pomegranate. That's actually pomegranate juice. I saw him press it. And, oh, it's so tasty with the basil seeds too. You see that? That is killer. The like, the creativity and just the genius skills that they have and that they demonstrate are just mind-blowing and it's time to have some milk drinks next. Oh, what do you need ice cream? Ice cream, ice cream. Okay. <laughs> There's so much milk on my lens. <laughs> that is so impressive. The, the bag squeeze of milk and from elevation, he literally has it like two or three meters up in the air. Squeezing that milk from a little trickle <laughs> with pressure. That is unbelievable skill. Ice goes in. It is a show. It is fun to watch, but literally it makes all the difference because he adds in so many ingredients. There's no way to get that kind of shake without tossing it in the air 12 times. That, that mix, you notice the difference. This, is my, this one is Horlicks with milk. Oh, wow, but just the even texture with the foaminess. That's what really makes the difference. That is the most unbelievable mixed, thoroughly perfect, perfect mixed drink you will ever have. And so much fun to watch as well. Thank you. Awesome. So cool. One more thing to complete this tour of Kochi is something called hot chips, which is well known in Kochi. And I guess they're fried banana chips. And do they put spices on them or is it just plain? Some of them they can make it with spices. This is plain with salt. Okay, but different. they have different flavors. Yeah. And so Kerala is known for bananas. Tons huh? and tons of bananas grow here. Ah, thank you. Oh yeah, those are hot chips. Oh, they're hot. This is, these are salted. Oh, it's so good, yeah. So fresh. Those are hot chips. Very hot chips. Yes. Biggest cabinet of banana chips I've ever seen in my life. There's like thousands and thousands of bananas going on. This one is the sweet right banana. Mm, sweet right banana, yeah, sweet one. Sweet, sweet hot chips. Mint flavored, and this is spicy one. Spicy, okay. Yeah. This one is the spicy? Yeah, spicy. Mm. Oh yeah, nice. And finally, 
mint. Okay, and I think that completes the hot chip tasting. Oh, they're all good. In a country of a population something like 1.1 billion people, it just blows my mind the amount of human creativity and artistic talent and just incredible things you would never dream of seeing that are available just everywhere you look. And this is just a demonstration of that. It's impressive, it's so cool. Um, and just the, the talent and skill of day after day after practice. These guys are so cool. This is a must visit when you come to Kochi. That was, it's so amazing to watch. And so that's actually gonna wrap up this entire tour to Kerala, this entire food trip. It's been an amazing trip. And actually the reason that we stopped by the hot chips at the very end of this trip, at the very end of this tour in Kochi is because it's right on the way to the airport, almost to the airport, and a lot of people, I believe, stop there to buy hot chips to bring with them wherever they go, and I got a bag myself. I wanna end this video and this entire series by saying a huge thank you to Eben from Food & Travel TV. Without him, this entire trip wouldn't have even been possible. He brought us to the best places. He's such an amazing guy. I love his passion. I love his love for Kerala, and he's just so much fun to hang out with. He loves food. He's an ambassador for Kerala, for the delicious food of Kerala. And it was an honor and a privilege to hang out with him for a whole week eating and traveling around Kerala. So thank you, Eben. One of the most memorable trips I've had. That's gonna be it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Kerala. Goodbye from the airport in Kochi. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. And again, if you haven't watched this entire India food travel series in Kerala, um, check out the playlist below. Go watch all the videos. Such an amazing state in India with such amazing food. Okay, thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.